In today's video, I'll attempt to turn one of our Akedo Warrior doubles into one of the most powerful versions of Spider-Man, not you Spooderman, into one of the most powerful versions of Spider-Man in existence. His list of powers include both telepathy and time travel. He's from the year 2099. He's Spider-Man 2099. This is Carnage, one of our very first custom Akedo Warriors. To this day, he's still one of my favorites. This is the figure that got me thinking, what else can I make? Venom is an exact duplicate of Carnage with a different paint scheme. He was a surprise reveal during our Carnage battle test video. And in case you didn't see it, I won't give anything away, but let me just warn you, things get a little heated. Next came Iron Spidey. His robotic arms and highly detailed paint job make him nearly invincible. Here's Miles Morales with Web Blaster. I feel like I finally got the shape of the head down by this point. We're about to find out if I still got it. Our last figure from the Spider-Verse is Doc Ock. He's one of only a few customizations where I was able to use the actual Akedo Warrior's head simply by repainting it. Now that everyone's all caught up with our Spider-Man series, that brings us to today's build and dilemma. You see, the boys are off for a while until summer school starts, and I have the pleasure of spending some extra time with them. So while we live it up during the day, most of this build will happen at night, so that means it needs to be quick, easy, and quiet. Three, two, one. With that said, Chuck Slee is our best starting point out of all the Akedo Warriors. He's pretty much a blank slate, and I won't need to grind anything off him. This weapon is really stuck. Finally. The head is really stuck too. You hear that? That sound means the neck is still good. Time to put on the gloves. For today's build, I'll be making the new head and all of the details out of epoxy clay. This is part A. It's soft and sticky. This is part B. It's hard and not sticky. The clay starts off really soft but it'll gradually get harder and harder until it's finally completely hardened. Sometimes I like to let it sit for a while before trying to shape it. It's been about 30 minutes since mixing the clay and it lost a lot of its stickiness. I think we can start shaping the head. I like to look at a picture while working. It doesn't help, I just like to see what it's supposed to look like. Okay, this is about as good as it's gonna get. Let's work on the spines or spikes or wrist thingies. Since they'll be taking a bunch of hits in every fight, I'll reinforce them with a piece of wire embedded in the arm. Then I'll carefully sculpt two of them on each arm, with the rear one being very elongated. I saw pictures of spines on his legs as well, but since I'm going with the Fortnite version of Spider-Man 2099, I'm just going to stick with the forearms for now, especially since I'm already rapidly approaching my deadline. Since I couldn't find any documentation of Spider-Man 2099 using a weapon, I'm just going to go with the harvesting tool in his Fortnite bundle, the 928 Axes. It 
In order to recreate that neon red glow, I'll be making the weapon out of a red translucent filament using my 3D pen. And with the help of this new heating tool I just purchased, hopefully we can get a smooth and shiny finish. As much as I wanted to put one in each of his hands, the weapon is just so large, it looks a little ridiculous. But all in all, I think just the one is gonna look awesome and be very effective in the arena. All the clay has finally hardened and we're now ready to paint. With my new airbrush and compressor, this is gonna be a dream. For Spider-Man 2099's base coat, I'll be using a pearl blue. Look at how easy this is going on. There's no way I could have pulled this off with a brush. And for all the red details, I'm using an oil-based stoplight red over a layer of white primer. finished product, Spider-Man 2099, just in time for the release of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which Eddie, Clark, and I are probably watching right now. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Without you guys, I wouldn't be making these videos and I wouldn't be able to spend all this extra time with my two boys. So I appreciate you all so, so much. And with that said, I'm off to make another video. Bye.